everybody welcome to the video my name is Michelle and you're watching real life with Michelle why am I different what changed me what happened to me why am I not the same person that I was 20 years ago I know people grow but what the heck happened to you Michelle you used to let's say I used to like drink a lot more than probably I should I used to get drink to get drunk and have fun that's what I did I you know I used to want expensive things. I, I used to want the nicest of the nice of the everything. I wanted the big house. I wanted the fancy car. I wanted diamonds. I wanted just things that material things. Just material things. You know and I used to not care. I used to like not really care about people. I, I didn't care. If it didn't affect me I didn't care. And I used to be you know, I was not, I was nice. I mean, I was kind, I was nice and everything. But my attitude was, oh well, oh well, let's go get a tattoo. You know, oh well, let's go shopping. Oh well, let's, you know, I used to be that person. I mean, don't get me wrong. I was still friendly, I was nice, I had friends, but, but my attitude, ugh, it sucked my attitude just really sucked you know my mom would look at me sometimes and like roll her eyes it's like oh Michelle this isn't you what is going on with you this isn't you growing up since I was about five years old I always went to the Nazarene Church so I have a, I have a, a good 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 solid spirit spiritual foundation from the church I mean I we lived two houses next door to next down from the church so whenever the church was open we were there we were at all the revival services we were at all the all the Wednesday night services Sunday morning Sunday evening I you did participated in all the teen groups I did I did it all I did it all so I had a good foundation but when I hit my 20s something happened that I I won't go into now I might later in a story another story but something happened that just made me angry it just made me angry and question why am why am I even doing this what what's going on and I was just like I wouldn't go to church I refused I wouldn't go to church anymore I just refused and I didn't want to participate I didn't read the Bible I didn't nothing I, I just didn't so that was in my 20s and 30s and 40s so 30 30 years of my life I just I I just was angry I wasn't angry with God I was angry with people I was angry with people I wasn't angry with God I was angry with so I would say I was about in my late 30s or 40s I don't remember exactly what year but my husband at the time, my husband and I, we planned a trip to Italy. He had family that lived over in Italy. So we planned a trip without the kids because I had all teenagers at the time and all they did was fight. And I really didn't want to take them over there for a month because we were staying with his side of the family, you know, in different parts of Italy. And I knew my girls would fight and it would just be too much. It would just be too much on their family. So my mom offered to watch my kids. You know, she, my mom and dad are great. So they said, well, we'll take them for that month that you go. Okay, I'm cool with that, all right. So I get ready, shopping, get all my bags packed and just get ready. Listen, don't take six suitcases on an airline. It's too, it's too much. It's, I overpacked, I way overpacked, okay? Don't do it. Don't, don't, don't take, don't take that much luggage anywhere. It's just too much. It, it's too much. It was, it was a problem, let me tell you. It was just too much. So anyway, anyway, we're, at, we're, at, we're, we've arrived into Rome, all right? And we had family pick us up and we went over to, I forget what town it was, but over, oh, east of Rome. To the Adriatic Sea there was a town over there so we stayed there for about a week and then my husband had 
different family members at different locations in Italy. So we were able to go to Torino and Venice and we, we traveled on Milan. We traveled all over Italy. It was a nice vacation. Well, our first stop really to see the sights was in Torino. And we, we were there, the Olympics were in Italy and we were there the year before that. So whatever year that was, that's when I was there. So there's construction everywhere and we're walking the city and doing the streets. And all of a sudden, I saw a little church. There was just a little church. And I'm like, I want to go in there. Let's go in there. Because along the way, walking all the streets of Italy, walking into the churches, they're beautiful. They are beautiful. So we would go in churches along the way just to see how pretty they were. I'm, I'm telling you, they were beautiful. In fact, we went into one church and stood in the back and it was full of nuns and they were all singing. That was beautiful. That was just beautiful. To hear all these nuns just singing. I don't know what they were singing or what they were saying, but it was beautiful. So we stayed in the back for probably 10, 15 minutes and listened and then we left. But anyway, walking along, we see this little church. And I'm like, I wanna go in there. Okay, we can go in there, no big deal. So we did, we walked in there and it was the most peaceful church I've ever been in. When I say peaceful, I mean peaceful. Nobody was talking. There were tourists in there. N nobody was really moving around a lot. Nobody was talking. And I'm like, oh wow, what, what's going on here? Here the shroud, the shroud was in there. And I'm like, oh wow, wow. Didn't expect this, didn't expect this at all. And the peacefulness in there, you could just tell that the Holy Spirit was in that church. And all of a sudden, in Michelle's little brain, I hear, Michelle, what are you doing? And I'm like, what? And I hear him, just this little voice, like, Michelle, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? What, what, are, you, what are you doing? And at that point, I was like almost in tears just in this church looking at this shroud and it's like I don't want to leave I didn't want to leave that church we stayed there until my husband and his cousin finally said Michelle we got to go and I'm like I really don't want to go this is just but okay and it was just awesome. I can't explain. I can't explain to you the feeling that I had when I was in that church. So we left that church and, you know, went and visited other things. And when it was time for us to leave, you know, we had family drive us to Rome. For us to go home. So we planned a three day stay at Rome before we flew out to back to America. So walking around Rome, and it's like, let's go to the Vatican. So we did. Walked in the Vatican and that same peace that I had in that other church came. And I'm like, what is going on? Michelle, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing with your life? I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm not really doing anything with it. What I'm doing with it, you probably wouldn't like. So we carried on and walked all around. The Vatican is beautiful. Let me tell you, the Vatican is beautiful. There's beautiful pictures and beautiful statues. It's, it's beautiful and I, I was amazed with the statues because with these statues, they're so carved out. You could see every little toe, every little toe, every, it was beautiful. But in there, that same piece I got and I'm like, God starts talking to me. Michelle, what are you doing with your life? And at this point I knew, I knew it was like, oh God, I gotta change my life. I gotta change the way my attitude is. I have to, I have to change my life. So we walked around there for a little while and it, it was the same thing. It was all, all through this place. It was like 
the God's talking to me. So we left there and we left Rome and got on the plane. Didn't bring six bags back, let me tell you. We left some of them there with family because it was just, it was crazy. Way, way too much, way too much luggage. So anyway, we get to back to America and, and we're got the kids and we're back and three months and let me back up we're back and now I'm reading my Bible all right I got my Bible out but I'm kind of hiding reading it because I don't want my husband to see me reading it I don't want my kids to see me reading it but I'm hiding reading it and and you know just kind of living like that now so then my husband at the time decides he wants to he doesn't want to be married anymore which I have a story on that too. I'll leave a link on that. And I'm like, oh, do you believe? I was okay with that. I was okay with that because I knew God wanted me to change my life. And in order for me to change my life, he had to be out of it. He had to be out of it. And I hate to say that as a marriage, but I knew he had to be out of it. He had to be out of my life. So I was okay with that marriage. In fact, before he left and I only talked to him a few times before our whole we had a dissolution was filed it went quick because I didn't contest anything and I didn't want him back because I knew I knew I just knew he needed to be out of my life and I had a piece about that so I moved in with my mom and dad and that's when I started going to church again I said you know I'm gonna go to church with you guys so I went to church sat there through the whole service blubbered and cried don't know why I just did so I said mom I'm not if I'm gonna sit there and cry I'm not going because I look like a fool and I, I just don't want to feel that she said my mother said keep going Michelle keep going so I did I went the next Sunday morning and it's like, what did I do? I sat there and cried and cried and cried and cried and cried. So my mom says, keep going. All right, mom, I'll keep going. So I think it was the third Sunday I went and I'm sitting there crying and I thought, you know, I, I'm going to the altar. I'm just going to the altar because that's what I feel like I need to do. Well, I went to the altar and I prayed and I'm like, Jesus, I'm sorry for everything I ever did. You know, and I want to live my life for you now. Look, I'm going to get teary. So, that's, that's, that's the Sunday that I quit crying when I went to church. But that's when my life changed. You know, things didn't matter anymore. The things of my past didn't matter anymore. I didn't want to live that way anymore. I want this, this new way of life because it's better. It's better. And it may be harder at times, but it's better carrying on my life now I'm reading my Bible and I'm not I'm not hiding it anymore I'm reading my Bible and I'm praying and I'm you know and I'm building a relationship with God so and I'm still doing that I'm still building a relationship with God and let me tell you the peace that's in my heart now I have a peace like it, it's unexplainable from what I had in the past. So, that's how my life changed. Took a trip to Italy and my husband leaving to turn my life around. And you could do that too. You could do that too. I don't know if it's gonna take you a trip all the way across the ocean, but it took me a trip all the way across the ocean to figure out my life. So, anyway, that's my story. If you like my videos, subscribe and come back for more. Who knows what I'll film next. I'll see you later. Bye.